Yo, what's up? It's DNA for sure, and this video is for um, the parents out there. Now, I don't have a kid, and um, but I do understand children pretty pretty well, you know. Uh, I was a child before, once before, and I'm still pretty immature. You know, I've grown up a lot of, around a lot of small children. Um, and my family, my nephew, I lived with him for about, I think I was there for like six months or some shit. I don't know how fucking long I was there. I was there from winter to, uh, I think my birthday. I had my, I don't think my birthday was there. My birthday was not spent. There. I think I left there like the beginning of summer. But anyways... This video is a This video is about um an experience that I had. Now, I don't know the whole psychology of hitting children and uh, you know, I know that it's negative negative physical contact is not good oh, before a certain age. Um it lowers your IQ and affects your self-esteem and confidence and shit like that it does build your tolerance to pain and stuff like that and it's a quick fix to uh using your words it probably uh boosts you know the likelihood of a ch child becoming my grandma's fucking closing the blinds i don't know it does boost the likelihood that, you know, your child is going to grow up violent or fucked up or whatever. Trust issues. But this is what I experienced. Okay. So, let me tell you a story. So, me and my father, before this experience happened, we didn't really know each other like that. But it's times where I went back and forth to Georgia from Chicago and spent summers with him and shit like that. So... But he was the, the fun parent, the party parent, the vacation parent, you know. Not that I didn't take him seriously because I was scared of him. But he just wasn't, he didn't have that role in my life. My mom was the punisher and I fucking really disliked her most of the fucking time. And my dad um, was the vacation parent. But... It's not even that much. It's the fact that, you know, I only saw him maybe twice a month, less than that sometimes, and only spent, like, a total of an hour when I didn't sleep over his house for a couple hours or whatever, when he did live in Illinois. So I didn't know him like that. I didn't know him. I probably knew him all of the total time. Maybe, I can't even guess. I could say maybe we spent six months together of time, not even that. Except maybe 12 hours, 12 hours a year sometimes. But anyways, I didn't know the guy <clears throat> enough. So... Summers go by, Christmases go by, we're visiting each other, whatever. I'm nine years, ten years old, moved to Atlanta. Now, whatever the situation was, I did something where he felt like physical um, punishment. I don't know what the, I forgot what the word is called. When you hit your child, he felt like that was necessary or called for. Or that is what was needed at the time. Which, you know, I've gotten whooped and hit and shit like that before. But it wasn't, like, by a man or on that level or, you know. Well, he did it. It's like 10 years old. I was 10, too. Too fucking old to be handled that way but you know I never felt that amount of pain 
from another human being. Like, my cousin threw a plastic chair at me when I was, like, seven or some shit. Um, we used to fight all the fucking time. Um, I fucking broke my finger when I was, like, six or some shit like that. I had no fucking idea what was going on. And the fact that he was yelling at me when it was happening and, you know, I felt anger. And I think he did it, like, twice in that year, I believe. Or the next year. So 10 and 11, which is too old to be fucking whooping your kids like that. And I just felt like, you know, I didn't know this guy enough for him to be doing that. I was so fucking mad at my mom. Like, I didn't want to fucking talk to her for a long ass time. And she fucking came back and she was looking like, I know what happened. Are you still okay? And I'm like, bitch, you told him to fucking do this. You fucking instructed him to do this. You got his clear. He got your clearance and shit. Like you might as well did it your fucking self. Like he just wanted to be a real parent. Is how I felt. And then after that, our relationship was never the same. I never fucking joked around with him. I never initiated hanging out with him. I'm not mad at him now for doing it. I think it was ignorant on his part to do it. But because we never we didn't have that kind of relationship where I felt like I knew him enough where he should be punishing me on that level so if that's your situation if you've only seen your kid fucking 51 times in the past 10 years it's in my opinion that you shouldn't be spanking them or whooping them and afflicting a certain amount of pain on them and shit like that now that can go both ways should you be fucking treating them, buying them stuff, treating them, spoiling them all extra hard? I don't know. I can only give you one side because I've only really, I've experienced both sides. But I just don't think that's good for the relationship. Maybe if, you know, it was to the point where, now at that time, I had been living with him for about, four months or so. So that's different because we had to live with my dad for six months when we first got to Georgia. So my mom could find a job and secure shit and, you know, but I didn't know, I didn't recognize him as who he thought he was in my life, I guess, which I, I felt wrong. I felt abused. I felt um, betrayed, a lot of things. So I just want to take share that experience with you guys. And I mean, I talk to my dad like maybe twice a month now. Tried to talk to him like once a week, got a little busy. Then it felt kind of weird, you know. We tell each other we love each other sometimes, just other issues. But that's it. I mean, whatever you feel about it, let me know, comment on it. I make a fucking rebuttal video on whatever the fuck it is. Your comment is if it's the opposite of what my opinions are. But if anything, that's I just wanted to share that with you guys and maybe make you think about some stuff or rethink some things. But yeah, it's DNA for sure. Peace.